Hey YouTubers, it's Gizzy Greenfingers here and on the 29th of October this year I brought this fig tree it's called a Little Miss Figgy and um, I live in the UK so we get, cli we get cold climate so 29th of October it was very cold and it had lost all its leaves and it's getting ready to go into dormancy but I like fucking with nature so I'm going to wire it up we're going to cut it back and then it's going under lights in my tropical tree setup that I made. Um, and then we're just going to force it to grow through the winter in the UK, that is. You can have these indoors or through the winter, but when I've seen them, they just get leggy. They just get leggy. We want a bonsai out of this, so I think the more time and more growth you can get through the winter the bigger it's going to get but as you can see I've wired the first bit we got a fig still on there from this summer um, that wasn't when I had it like I said got it from a nursery it cost me well, it was half price so I think it was 15 quid 50% off so half of 15 about 750 I think I think it was that sort of price wasn't much, wasn't much, wasn't much to lose if it, if it goes pear shaped, do you know what I mean? Or fig shaped, shall I say. <laughs> fig shaped, indeed. So, as you can see, I've got my, I've got my hands full with the wiring. And I've been cutting it to certain points. And what I'm hoping to do, by doing so, it will promote to shoot out as soon as I put it under the lights and like I said it, it may take a month until we get buds come up or I could just kill it but you don't know this you're not you're not a true bonsai person if, if you're not going to lose trees it's and I'm not telling you how to do it because I ain't got a scooby doo I'm just telling you what I do just to make that clear. I'm going to cut that off there. Pow! The dirt is gone. And that is what we ended up with. And now, a month later. So there we have it, you YouTubers. Nearly a month later. And it is starting to blood out how I wanted it to. Which is good. And hopefully we'll get more, more shoots come up further down. Which, that might be one there. Uh, I, think, I think they're coming up everywhere. But might not be this time. I might have to let these grow out a little bit more. And then um, cut them. Just snip the tips off. For, um, more back budding, but I'm happy with that. That looks good. That's good. This bunch. That looks good. So it does look like that looks like one there. That is. I hate this. I hate the, the way Samson's done their cameras now. I really do. But yeah, all those are new birds. See that? So you're going to have one come out that side. It looks like there's another one there. So that looks good. Even got a little one starting there. That's good. I'm, but I may get rid of that one, to be fair. I'm going to repot it. But it's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. It's just, it's just waiting to see if we'll get further back bedding back here. We can just try to style it a little more. That looks good. That looks good. Yeah, we've got one coming there. But yeah, it's early days. We've got one there. That, that one might not stay because it's quite close to that trunk there. But yeah, I just thought I'd do a, a month update just to show how this um, Little Miss Piggy, I think this is called. Um, Fig, fig tree. But it's got a nice shape. 
Uh, the fig I had on it, yeah, it, um, it just shriveled up, obviously, because this a special wasp wasn't around in the bloody winter. This 29th of October I bought this with Jason and Stevie at um, Garden Centre. And it's been a month under my lights and it's doing exactly what I want it to do. It's looking pretty sexy with the uh, structure it's got going. This will probably get cut down to, I don't know yet, but it will be getting cut down shorter so it looks in more proportion with the rest of the tree. But uh, we'll just see, we're just going to leave it now, let it do its thing, let it shoot out and enjoy itself and delights. I will feed it at the weekend and we'll see where, we'll see where we are. But uh, if you enjoy watching this and want to see more of this little Miss Figgy, then uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Tell her for now. Gizzy Greenfingers.